we can see your screen. Okay, thank you. Yeah, my name is uh, Dai Tie from the IEP, Chinese Academy of Science. So I, I will talk about the aerosol data assimilation using the four-dimensional local ensemble transform camera filter. So this we collaborate with Japanese uh, scientists and uh, uh, make short games now in the New Zealand. So as you know, aerosol has important environment and climate effect. So this this shows the air pollution and the dust storm, and they will affect the cloud and the radiation. So in the uh, Indian Ocean impact, we they find the aerosol forcing of the region are much higher than the green house. So can observation to improving the simulation of aerosol distribution and the impact on the climate changes. So we try to use the data simulation. So the forward model is a global to regional high resolution model that is developed by the University of Tokyo. So we use this model as the forward model to simulate the global aerosols. The assimilation method is the local ensemble transform camera filter. So this shows the general uh, how the uh, method to estimate the uh, optimized aerosol informations. So firstly, we develop an observational operate that uh, uh, can transform the predict aerosol from the model to the observed aerosol optical properties. So they, we, we assume the aerosol size distribution and the refractive index at the uh, 50, 550 nanometers. So we, we firstly calculate the extinction coefficients and the uh, SSA. So we firstly test the assimilation system use the modest observation. So that is the period is the Asian dust that uh, happened on 20, uh, sixth April. So the Asian dust uh, uh, is uh, as <coughs> as you say the uh, modest observed uh, transport of the aerosol to the uh, east eastward, and the uh, model without assimilation we we find the model underestimate the AOD significantly, and we. This is this shows the modis. Uh, we estimate the modis errors and the totally observation we can use to assimilation. So we perform uh, several experiments to test the uh, assimilation system, like the ensemble members and the uh, local part regions. So we firstly we uh, we use the independent uh, ground based. Uh, Aerolite observations to validate the assimilation results. We we can get about twelve sites observations. So this shows that we the black line shows the uh, simulation result without uh, without assimilation. We 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 can see that the the standard model underestimated the dust event significantly. After we assimilate the modis observation, we can see the simulated results are quite close to the independent observation of the Xinlu site. Also, the uh, other sites uh, eastward. This also shows the X from exponent also can be improved. This indicates the optical uh, observation operator are quite suitable. 
So we we estimate the results of the 12 sites we can find over 11 sites the uh, bias are improved and the correlation uh, the uh, correlations also improved compared to the geostation compared to the um, polarized polarized satellites the geostation center can uh, have more higher observation frequency. So we firstly extend the assimilation system to as, to assimilate to assimilate the uh, new geostational satellites. The we extend the assimilation system from three dimensional to four dimensional. This this uh, figure shows the uh, the general uh, four four D that curve compared to the 3D that curve, we don't need to uh, restart the model frequently, and uh, we can have more observations to constrain the model's status. The experiment uh, design is over the uh, 2016 November. So we perform four experiments. Firstly, is the control experiment that we don't assimilate any uh, observations. And the one uh, assimilation experiment is use the three-dimensional depth curve method. And the other two, we use four-dimensional uh, depth curve with the assimilation window about six hours and uh, uh, 24 hours. We can see the assimilation time can significantly reduce use the four-dimensional four dimensional assimilation method and the assimilation the observations are uh, significantly increased so the we we can see the uh, for the net cap it takes about uh, uh, 6 5 hours to assimilate one hour one month observations and if we use four dimensional uh, 24 hours uh, uh, experiment, we only need uh, less than one day. So we compare the analysis with the Himawali 8 results. Uh, as you can see, in the control experiment, the AOT over East Asia are significantly overestimate. And the after uh, we assimilate the Himawali observations, we can see the uh, models results are uh, quite close to the observation. This indicates the uh, Himawali AOT are successfully assimilated in the system. This shows the uh, MSE also after assimilation, the MSE are uh, reduced significantly. Uh, we we, first, we further uh, investigate why the model without assimilation overestimate the uh, AOT over East Asia quite large. We find that without assimilation, the soft aerosol are over uh, are overestimate because the emission we used are uh, about ten years ago. So that that time the SO two emission in East Asia are higher. So this caused the model to overestimate the AOTs over the uh, East Asia. And we compare the uh, the assimilation efficiency. We we define this uh, assimilation efficiency following Yuriboto, uh result. We if this uh, close to uh, one hundred means that the uh, assimilation are quite good. So we find that the the generally assimilation efficiency are over about 50, 50. So this shows the scared plot of the model, the AOD and the Himawali observed AOT. We can see the assimilation experiments, the AOT are uh, quite close to the one to one lines. And we also estimate, uh, validate the analyze use the uh, independent uh, error uh, observations. 
we find over the uh, simulated domain, the AOT uh, over about 80 hundreds, 80 hundreds are, 80% are, are improved. And the, this, the assimilate, this bias and the assimilation efficiency and also the uh, correlation are improved over uh, 70%. We also to investigate the assimilation of the uh, Himawali AOT to affect the forecast of the error source. We uh, we we uh, use the initial conditions uh, corrected by the assimilation to forecast the uh, three days. Then we we evaluate the uh, different uh, time period forecast time. Uh, leading time to affect the uh, forecasting results. We compare the results with the uh, uh, independent error and the assimilated Himawali and Maldis result. We find that over the first day, the more the initial condition correct, correct, corrected uh, can improve the model forecast uh, very much. Uh, after about three days, the the initial conditions uh, has about no effect on the forecast results, and we further extend the uh, assimilation system to uh, estimate the aerosol emissions. We this case we focus on uh, East Asian dust of the uh, November uh, twenty sixteen. With, this is the Himawali observed AOT. We find the dust, the East Asian dust transport eastward. And we we find without the assimilation, the model, the the free the free run experiments underestimate the AOD compared to the observation. So this indicates the dust emission may be underestimated in the uh, model. So we after we after we assimilate the uh, Himawali observations, we find the uh, dust emission uh, enlarged with uh, different uh, uh, local uh, patch regions and the uh, different log days. We estimate the the new dust emissions and we evaluate the new dust emission use the Modis and the Arillet, also the technical observations. So we find we find without the assimilation, the simulated AOD uh, compared to the Modis, Terra, and Aqua are quite lower than the observations. So this further indicates the dust emission may be underestimated in the model. So after we use the new emission data, we we got quite good results compared to the uh, MODIS observations. And we, all, we also have one site over Beijing that Aerolet status that we compare the uh, time series of the uh, simulated AODs to the observation. We find the, uh, the without data simulation, the model underestimated the, this uh, AODs of the dust dust past Beijing, and uh, after we use the new emission, we can get the quite good results compared to the observation. And the uh, observation also indicate that the AOD is the coarse mode AOD. That means that the, that is the dust aerosol. So we compare the results with the calypso vertical observations. So this. This shows the uh, calypso observations. So we can see without the assimilation, the, the models does the uh, emission are probably underestimated that the uh, vertical extinction coefficient are quite small compared to the calypso observations. And this is the new, new dust emission simulated to the vertical uh, aerosol extinction profiles, we can see that K 
say more compared to the observations. And the calypso also indicate this is the dust aerosol. So, so this further confirms that the uh, dust emission in, in work, involved are uh, uh, reasonable. We also use this uh, assimilation system to uh, invert the uh, SO2 emissions. So the this figure shows the gen generally fellow how we to estimate the emissions. So we we estimate the ground based SO2 observations. Uh, over China, we can see that the uh, from <laughs> from two. 2000, uh, from 2010, the SO2 emission over the uh, three regions that the high, highly uh, developed region, we find we find the SO2 reduction are over 50 percent, especially over the uh, four river uh, data regions. We also estimate the aerosol vertical extinction uh, coefficient that observed by the Calypso. So we we validate the results uh, use the observation. So th this is the shows the free run results over the different uh, heat. We can see the assimilation with the. Uh, Vertical information can also correct the aerosol vertical uh, results. So this shows the PDF frequency of the uh, deviation of the AOT simulated and observations. So with this shows that uh, assimilated AOT are much more closer to the observation. So the vertical profile, average profile. Uh, we can also say that this is the free run result. Uh, Calypso observed the uh, uh, vertical distributions. So without the assimilation, we find the uh, free free run. The this blue lines shows that the vertical distribution are are quite uh, different to the observations. After we assimilation, we can see the vertical distribution are. Uh, more closer to the observations. So this is the summary of uh, our uh, studies. So we successfully developed the uh, NetCAF and the four-dimensional NetCAF aerosol assimilation system, which are applied to estimate the geostationary satellite and also the Calypso vertical observations. So one month uh, hourly aerosol analysis are firstly uh, generated with the four dimensional net care system, which can significantly improve the uh, calculation efficiency. The aerosol analysis are more comparable to both the assimilated Himawani AOTs and the independent alert and modis observations. The assimilation of Himawani AOTs can also correct the aerosol emission condition under the emissions to improve the aerosol forecast, if especially over the first uh, 24 hours. Okay, I will stop here. Thank you. Thank you. That was a great talk. Um, we have a question. Do you, um, did you update the emissions using the Imari assimilation? Um, so you update the Dust emissions online, or is there is something I missed? Uh, sorry, pardon. Do you update the emissions during the assimilation cycle? The emission sources? Emission sources, you mean the uh, anthropogenic emission sources or uh, the dust emission source? Yeah, do you update the emissions? Uh, from in during the assimilation with the 40 ATKF? Yeah, yeah, we update the uh, emissions during the assimilation. So there are a couple of questions. 
So there is one from Thomas uh, Sekiyama. Um, okay. He's saying that geostationary satellites have time-dependent biases uh, with the solar zenith angle. How do you control the data bias during the data simulation? You mean the Calypso assimilation? Uh, the yeah, for, I guess for both Calyop uh, as a bias with MODIS and uh, also for Himawari. Okay, the Himawari uh, the uh, observation error we we firstly grid the Himawari observation to the model grid and we estimate the standard deviation that's used in the the model grid uh, to and the observation error is estimated by the Himawari uh, product. Uh, for the Calypso assimilation, we assume the twenty percent of the uh, extinction coefficients as the observed error. And do you um, do you have a specific method for biases, or you just con consider uh, random biases? You just use variances, uh, error variances, total error? Uh, we, we did the, some bias correct, correct, uh, by the uh, quality control of the observation data. For the more detail, we, we, we have the paper in the ACP about the, the Calypso assimilation and the, and the emission of the SO2. So there is another question um, yeah. from Jan Yu Young. Um, yeah. What aerosol module in the model for assimilating uh, the MODI COD? Uh, the Aerosol module is the the spring task the developed by the Kyushu University. So that module uh, uh, participated uh, many uh, aerosol international uh, competition. The the like the major aerosol are considered in the module. And um, what quality control is given to the MODIS AOD, um, and in, especially in cloudy regions? MODIS uh, AOD. So the for the the the, the MODIS AOD we use we assimilate we assimilate the is the uh, quality controlled version by the the. Uh, Levy research library so that the already did the quality control. So we call that the NRI modis assimilate for uh, modis data for assimilation. Thank you. I think yeah, thank you. I think it's time to move on to the next presentation.